personal trainer and former Olympian, Heba Abdel Gawad, was declared as Women's Health Middle East the next fitness star in 2014. We recently met up with Heba to see what's keeping her busy after her win and learn how she adjusts her habits during Ramadan. Since I won the Women's Health Next Fitness Star, my husband and I have set up a company called Body Hack. Um, this is a fitness education company and we've been running uh, education courses for trainers and we have other trainers with us now who go to people's homes for personal training as well. What inspired me to do everything that I've done is if, you, if you've played sport professionally, especially from a young age, it, it, it definitely gives you the drive and discipline to always think of what's next. So every time I accomplished something, I thought, okay, now what? Sport teaches you to be very hardworking, it teaches you to be very goal-driven. It's what we all know about sport, but I guess that's really what motivated me to, to always look at what's next and how, what can I accomplish next and, and make things grow. Beyond fitness, my next goals would be, I guess, hopefully to start a family soon and just to carrying on with my career as well and making Body Hack bigger and making the education courses grow, not just on a local scale, but on a worldwide scale. During Ramadan, I like to take things a little bit slower. It gives me my body a chance to recover from the training I've been doing up until then. So I think it, Ramadan's a good chance to take it a little bit easier and not, not train altogether, but just carry on more of an active lifestyle and reduce the volume and workload a little bit, especially if we're fasting. So my training is usually, I like to walk just before the breakfast time. Walking pretty, moderate to vigorous intensity and then if I on the days that I am going to train I usually just train two to three times a week maximum uh, during Ramadan and if I am going to train I would break fast with uh, water and maybe some dates and then go into my normal workout training which, is, which would still be a little bit less intense than what it was before Ramadan and then I would have my meal after the, the workout. Like I said, the window time for eating during Ramadan is very small, so uh, especially right now in the summer. So I would uh, break fast, typically have something small, and then I'd have a, a bigger meal later on when I'm hungry. And it's, for, for me, it's very, very important to drink lots of water. Again, dehydration, there's a whole host of issues. Like I said, I don't like to eat one big meal and then I'm full and then I can't eat till the next day and that means only one meal a day. So just have something small once we break fast and then have a bigger meal later on. During Ramadan, I eat exactly the same food that I like and that I normally would eat. Uh, I guess it's more tempting to have sweets during Ramadan, the body craves it. And the Arabic sweets are very delicious. They make them, well, they're certainly in front of your face more in Ramadan. So I guess that's what I try not to have too much of, but I still like to indulge every now and then. And I like to, to eat exactly what I normally would eat and not change much because at the end, your body still craves its routine. So at least the type of food, I like to keep the same. take advantage of our small window for eating to eat healthy and get a lot of nutrients in and not overeat, which is what a lot of people do during Ramadan and end up gaining weight, not getting the benefit of all the, the health benefits you would get from fasting. Yeah.